The Life of Princess Mary, King George III's Daughter Princess Mary, Duchess of Gloucester and Edinburgh, led a remarkable life intertwined with royalty and love. Born on the 25th of April 1776 in the Grand Buckingham Palace, she was the 11th child of King George III and Queen Charlotte. Mary's upbringing was guided by her loving parents, who took an active role in her education and moral development. Despite her reserved and dignified demeanour, Mary was hailed as the most beautiful daughter of George III. Her elegance and charm were showcased when she danced a captivating minuet at the age of 16 during a lavish court ball. As she blossomed into womanhood, Mary made her official debut at court in 1792, captivating the hearts of many. In 1796, love found its way into Mary's life when she met Prince Frederick, a Dutch prince living in exile in London. They fell deeply in love, but their path to marriage was hindered by George III's insistence that her elder sisters marry first. Tragically, in 1799, Prince Frederick succumbed to an infection while serving in the army, leaving Mary devastated. She was granted the honour of entering official mourning for her lost love. As time passed, Mary's life took another turn when she married her first cousin, Prince William Frederick, Duke of Gloucester and Edinburgh. Both in their 40s they found companionship and happiness in each other's company. Mary became the Duke's devoted wife and shared many memorable years with him. In her later years Mary witnessed the reign of her niece Queen Victoria who became the fourth monarch during Mary's lifetime. She outlived her father and two of her brothers George IV and William IV making her longest-lived and last surviving child of King George III. Mary's longevity was a testament to her strength and resilience, and at the age of 81, Princess Mary, Duchess of Gloucester and Edinburgh, passed away at Gloucester House in Weymouth. Her legacy as a beloved member of the royal family, as well as her enduring beauty and resilience, will forever be remembered. Princess Mary, known for her obedient nature, was affectionately referred to as Mama's Tool by her younger sister, Princess Amelia. Their bond was unbreakable and Mary tirelessly nursed Amelia during her painful illness. Tragically, Amelia's premature death in 1810 left Mary devastated, losing a beloved companion and confidant. Mary's close relationship extended to her elder brother, with whom she shared a mutual disdain for their cousin Caroline of Brunswick, his estranged wife. When Caroline departed for Italy, Mary expressed her relief, congratulating her brother on the prospect of a good riddance. She hoped that Caroline would never return, freeing them from any further encounters. Raised in a sheltered environment, Mary spent most of her time in the company of her parents and sisters. In 1816, at the age of 40, she married her first cousin, Prince William Frederick, Duke of Gloucester and Edinburgh. Their wedding day brought a significant change in William's title, as Mary's brother, the Prince Regent, elevated him from Highness to Royal Highness. This elevated status was already deserved by Mary as the daughter of the king. Interestingly, William Frederick had initially pursued a marriage with Mary's niece, Princess Charlotte of Wales. However, their courtship was cut short due to Charlotte's father's disapproval. Some speculate that Mary's decision to marry her cousin stemmed from her dissatisfaction with Queen Charlotte's strict household rules. Princess Charlotte noted that William Frederick was deeply in love and declared himself the happiest man alive. While Mary might not have shared the same level of enthusiasm, the prospect of being her own mistress, having her own house and being able to freely walk around the streets delighted her in different ways. The couple resided in Bagshock Park initially but later moved on to White Lodge in Richmond Park after William's passing. Although they did not have any children together, their companionship and shared life brought them much happiness. 
Princess Mary's life came to an end on the 30th of April 1857 at Gloucester House in Mayfair. At the age of 81, she was the last surviving child of George III and Queen Charlotte, having outlived her siblings and leaving behind a legacy of resilience and devotion.